actually missed it because the strings are a bit light. Right, so welcome to another video. Um, as I said, there are going to be a few videos about my brand new Martin Double RS1. And uh, this one, we're going to talk about strings a little bit. These ones come with Martin's, Martin's own strings, which are good solid strings. These are, um, these look like they are bronze strings. Um, and they, I know they're 12s which are a little bit light, and that's why I kept on missing them. You can hear even there, I, I bend it out of tune a little bit, because a little bit too much yeah, taste the thing. But because I'm used to using 13s. Besides, I like 13s, I like the Dario's 13s, and I like the Phosphor Bronze. And my box standard set to go for is the EJ17s, which, uh, yes, they retail for quite a high price here in Dublin. Um, I know that, uh, but they're worth it. So, what this video is going to be about, I'm going to throw in another set of those, but I'll give you a little bit more uh, flavor of what it sounds before, and then I'll give you a set of flavor of what it sounds after. I am not setting up a proper microphone for this because I got the Rode, mic Rode uh, camera microphone on the Canon, which, um, to me, it gives quite a good sound. We do a better mic up job somewhere later on uh, with all this stuff as well. So where you get to hear all, all the all the nuances of this guitar. But I think, in a way, the road kind of picks up what it sounds like within the room, not just on the guitar itself. So there you go. Uh, a little bit more. Give you a little bit of an idea now. Um, I shall come back with the fresh set of strings. So let's take these ones on and put the new ones on. Talk to you in a bit. And the old strings are coming off. These things are great, pulling the pins out. Uh, this is good people of Planet Wave. It was a promotion a while back that came with a set of strings. And it's soon true, proven to be a lot more valuable than the set of strings ever was. The cold winter air clear in the haze. Listening to the sound of an inbound. And it could take your troubles away. Here's something I learned recently. My um, museum has a different kind of tuner, so it has a lock in tuner, so it's a different, it doesn't work with them. But um, when you wrap the string, you put it through, then coil it always down because the lower down the actual string comes out from towards the end. The, the less pressure it puts on the actual tuner itself and uh, more of a nicer angle it gets on that as well, like more curved angle. Something I looked into lately. 
I mentioned uh, earlier on that I use phosphor bronze strings instead of just the bronze strings. The phosphor bronze um, do add a little bit of warmness, they're a little bit warmer strings. And I don't feel that you lose much in clarity, weirdly enough, it, it still makes for a very clear string. Um, strings, guitar strings. Let's talk about guitar strings very quickly. And um, I personally, my preferred by far preferred uh, guitar string is the Dario's. I tried loads over the years. I always keep on going back to the Dario. I did go through a phase I used Martins exclusively. I thought they were really, really good strings. And I still do think they're really good strings, but I still, I think to me, the Dario's have a little bit of an edge. A lot of people seem to like elixirs. I do not get on with elixirs at all, at all. Just a personal preference, not nothing. I'm sure they manufacture great strings, it's just not my tone at all. And, and I've had a bit of issues with that. The breaking. And when you pay that much for strings, I, you know, I expect them to not break. If you know what I mean. And other strings. Fender strings um, are outsourced these days, and I think I have my own suspicions that they're made by the Dario anyway. So, um, all I'm gonna say about that, I have used Fender strings, and if the Dario's are available, I have no problem picking up a set of Fender strings. Um, there are other makes as well. These are just acoustic strings I'm talking about right here, right now, because uh, electrics are completely different ball game. I hate to say this, but I'm not a big fan of Gibson strings. I tried them over the years, I've always had a bad experience with them. Um, I don't think that's Gibson's speciality is strings, but I suppose they, as a brand they have to make them, but never made friends with Gibson strings. Uh, Ernie Balls, I've used them, they're electric strings, never actually to give them a proper outing. I've had, I have tried their Gibson strings. But I wasn't impressed enough to go buy a second set. Um, I have heard good things about the new sets of strings. Apparently, they are really awesome. Um, but Dario hasn't done anything wrong for me to steer away from their quality products at the moment. So, and there are some other higher-end uh, string manufacturers, which it's an interesting part in the market but I don't know if I can justify and um, you kind of think that because you're a professional musician you, you, can, you can spend more on your strings and I've got through so many strings that I prefer to get a reasonably priced reliable string rather than a overpriced fancy thing which I don't really know how much better it is than for example my trusty old reliable Dario so yeah Food for thought there for you guys. Um, it's I'm not saying that don't go buy the fancy strings. I'm just saying that uh, uh, you know it, it all had to, especially if you're a professional musician. You know the counts have to make sense at the end of the day. Otherwise, you're. I see all these guys coming into the chat forums and I'm like, well, why would you use that? Because blah 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 blah. And I'm like, well, you're not. You're not you the money you spend on guitar and obviously is not directly related to the money you spend spend on your next rent or whatever it is. So. Musician, you have to learn to live frugally. And every penny you spend, you have to be able to justify it. Don't worry, these 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 little horror things. I hate when people even hang so They will be cut off. Um, Junior, good old reliable. New strings. Tied up this mess. Have a quick look here. It's all right. Not bent as of yet. See how that works. Very often, when you put a heavier set of strings, the neck can kind of have a little bit of a bow in it. But uh, 
I went from 12s to 13, so I don't think that's going to be that much of a problem. I hope you find peace someday. I hope you find peace someday. back with a fresh new set of strings. A sunny day outside, might have to try to go outside for a little while. Oh Laurie, can you hear the difference? Dario EJ17s definitely brought out volume on this baby, fair bit. Uh, really like it the way they feel as well. I do, I do prefer that stiffer. Um. I'm sure like lighter strings um, I'm just gonna tell you this I would highly recommend that you try heavier strings but give them a good go because um, you do need to build a little bit of the muscles in your fingers again um, I know it feels hard in the beginning but I believe that it rewards you in the long run a lot <laughs> Oh boy, this 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 is like it wake after waking up after those strings. Any music shop owner out there, if you see me walking in, get your guys to change the strings quickly to thirteens. I might be a you might get an easier sail out of me. <laughs> gone from the 12s uh, bronze strings to 13 phosphor bronze um, in the Martin Triple RS1 guitar. Um, let me know, do you hear the difference? Uh, let me know if you think which one do you prefer. Um, obviously this is a fresh set and the other one has been in the shop for a while. So um, Having said that they were still crispy feeling the strings, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I know the way I like it. Anyway, that's a quick thing about the strings on that. Beauty of a guitar, as I said, there's going to be a lot more about that guitar in the next uh, few weeks. Um, don't forget to subscribe 
and let me know in the comments what you think of the strings and uh, let me know what's your favorite set of strings let me know what gauges you like and also kind of elaborate why because I really I always like to hear people's other people's opinions about these things why do you like a particular part of kind of strings and why do you what what is about those strings that make you kind of excited about them so yeah don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications and uh, I shall talk to you guys soon again.